I just took a trip to the hardware store. I read your email. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make a little video so you get an idea how it's running. Okay. I just put the spark plugs in yesterday. The other ones were fouled out pretty bad. Um, had a little trouble starting it this morning, or actually not this morning, but maybe like an hour ago um, before I hit the hardware store. And um, hardware store is about a mile and a half away, so it's not too far of a drive. Let me see if I can't see how it starts up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's what I was doing, um, doing to me earlier, so. All right, well, I'm gonna pause this and see if I can um, unplug the fuel pump to see if it starts. All right, got it to start. I unplugged the fuel pump relay and the fuel pump fuse. Cranked it for about 30 seconds, just nonstop until it finally, um, until it finally you know, started. And this is kind of where we're sitting at here. I'm gonna do my best to try to drive, shift, and hold this for you. And, uh, all right, you know.
times. That was an older video when I first started it. Since then, um, I took the idle air valve. The idle air valve was stuck, so I cleaned that out. So that's that's working now. Um, I did have a vacuum leak, so I fixed that. So all the vacuum leaks are good. Um, all the boots are new. Um, as you can see, it holds a vacuum. And just right now, the drivability pretty much sucks. Um, now I just pulled in a driveway, and I'm just kind of letting it sit and idle. And this is what we got. Vacuum. Idle. I mean, everything seems, right now, everything seems fine. You know? Fans kicking on. Everything seems great. But I'm definitely... Uh, missing something. And like I said, at 4,000 RPM, it, it just wants to break up and it does now... Oh, also another thing. Also another thing. This was originally automatic and I swapped it over to 5 speed. So, I did a lot of things before I started this car. This car was automatic NA and sat for three years and I made it turbo and swapped to five speed. So anyhow, um, well maybe that's better. So I, I, it's now it's five speed. So I don't know, maybe I jumped the wrong wire. Maybe it thinks it's in um, neutral or something and the computer won't let it rev. I don't really know, but I am going to um, follow your advice and um, put the stock chip back in and the stock injectors and drive it around and see what happens. I do have the fuel pressure regulator and it's set three to one. Oh, another thing. Um, last time the video I sent you, uh, what I noticed, I had an external, um, I had a swirl tank, a fuel swirl pot or surge tank or whatever you want to call it because I might be drifting a car so I don't want to get fuel sloshed the way the, the tanks are here. Um, I had a, um, a wall bro fuel pump on there and what was happening is that when the wall bro fuel pump would come on, the pressure would be at 60 PSI, 60, 62 PSI on the, um, you know, when I, when I took the fuel pressure, when I had a fuel pressure gauge on there. So it'd be like 60 PSI. And, uh, when I would, then I took that out and I don't know why it was doing it, but I don't know. But anyways, now I get about 42, 44 PSI fuel pressure off the stock regulator. Um, so that's what was going on before. I actually diagnosed that by it was hunting and, and the idle wasn't that great. And then as soon as I would turn off the um, the inline fuel pump, the um, it would idle a lot better. So anyhow, maybe help me out. Let's see what we can do. You know, I appreciate all your feedback and um, I look forward to hearing from you. So hopefully this worked out and you got a better idea of what's going on with this car. And uh, we can get this thing figured out. I appreciate it. Thanks.